Welcome to 7 Bites. Uh, Jennifer's going to show us today how to make collie taters. <laughs> That's right. Today is actually all about collie taters, or not collie taters, sorry. Today is all about cauliflower power. And of course, I got my recipe, and then later on, my mom's going to show you how to make this amazing cauliflower macaroni and cheese that's going to just be to die for. Now, what I've got here, though, I've got some um, cauliflower, a whole head of cauliflower, and a couple of potatoes that I've cut up together. And what I did is I just cooked these in some chicken broth. And as you can see, when I strained it, I actually left some of the broth in there because that's going to help us um, get a really good consistency because we're going to puree this and we're going to make a collie mashed potato. This is a huge favorite of my family. I've got one of the pickiest teenagers in the world that <laughs> won't eat anything green and he actually has requested this dish by name. So what I'm adding to this is I'm just going to add about three tablespoons of butter. I know it sounds like a lot of butter, but there is a lot of potatoes and cauliflower here. And this actually serves eight, so the amount that I'm using really is kind of insignificant in comparison. I'm also going to add about half a block of cream cheese. Not a full half, you know, kind of, you know, more just between a third or a half, or between two-thirds and a half, somewhere. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm just going to drop that in there, and the residual heat off of the potatoes and cauliflower is going to kind of help soften these and melt these down. And we're also going to add a couple pinches of kosher salt. That's a lot. And we're going to add a few turns of black pepper, because you can't have mashed anything without black pepper, right? You can't, you can't ever get enough pepper. You can you always get too much salt, but, but you, can't you can't get, get enough pepper. pepper. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my immersion blender. If you don't have one of these, you can throw this into the food processor or your regular blender or your little small personal blender, whatever you want to do. And this is just going to give it such a great consistency. This is going to get loud, so talk amongst yourselves for a second while I do this. Something I want to point out right quick is when you use your immersion blender making this kind of thing, you kind of want to make it go up and down just a little bit because it's going to make the blade go over the potatoes and the cauliflower and it's going to give you a better texture and a better consistency. All right, now we don't want to work that all the way down. We want a little chunk in there because we want some, you know, texture. We don't want baby food and we don't want mush because that is not yummy. I'll all take right. that. You'll take that. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to transfer this over here to a cooking dish. And we're just going to put this in the oven, and we're going to cook it for just a little bit. What are we cooking this this on? Uh, 350? 350 for probably about 15, 20 minutes, just so it's hot all the way through. So she's off camera, but, you know, you heard her, I'm sure. <laughs> 350 for about 15, 20 minutes, and it's going to get kind of bubbly, and it's going to, you're going to get a crust on top, and it's going to be really good when those are done. As I beat the heck out of it. <laughs> All right, so while I'm heating up the oven and I'm cleaning up my mess, Mom's going to show you this amazing cauliflower mac and cheese recipe that you're not going to believe. It's so easy and so delicious. It's great. Hi, folks. We're back in the Seven Bites kitchen again, still talking about cauliflower. Cauliflower power! This time we're going to make cauliflower mac, which is... Uh, a substitute for macaroni and cheese. And I don't know how many people crave macaroni and cheese after they've had the surgery. I do, I do, I do. So this is what we did. We took the cauliflower and we cut it into bite-sized pieces. And I cooked it in chicken broth, just like Jen did with the uh, collotators. It takes away a little of the cauliflower taste. Uh, that's one of the complaints my husband had. He doesn't like the real strong cauliflower taste. So and My kids don't like anything green, so the less it tastes like cauliflower, the better. And, you know, the texture is something that if you like macaroni and cheese, it's not going to be soft and gooey like macaroni and cheese, but the flavor of the cheese sauce is so right on. That it, it it's just, really good. It's really good. <laughs> Jen's going to start the um, sauce. It's We've got a cup and a half of cream, which is whole cream. And believe me, whole cream is better than milk or, or low-fat milk. 
because it holds together. Then we're going to use about um, four ounces of cream cheese. We're going to put that in. And we're going to put two cups of, ch of um, shredded cheese. Plop, plop. And my granddaughter is here visiting today, Heather. My awesome niece, Heather. And we're going to put her to work. <laughs> She's going to be the stir. The stir. She's the princess yes. of the family. Bye. <laughs> Well, one of the princesses. We have several, but she's she's a princess. She's the oldest princess she in the family. She doesn't cook. The oldest. <laughs> she doesn't cook. So we're going to make her cook today. And what we're going to also learning. add to this is something that's kind of unusual. We're going to add um, about uh, three tablespoons, or no, three teaspoons. I apologize. Three <laughs> teaspoons of a you brown can mustard. Add three tablespoons if you like yeah. it. This is brown mustard. You can use Dijon. You can use just yellow mustard. What it does is it, it enhances the flavor of the cheese. Now this is the good stuff. We've got an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. But since I'm making double the sauce, I doubled all of it. So this will all be posted on the blog, and so you will be able to find it, and you can make it however proportionate you need to make it. But that's what we're going to use today. So she's going to start stirring this, working on that, and that should be uh, loosened up enough because we had already mixed it all together. So bring it over here, and I want you to pour it. And only put about two thirds of that in here. I guess. By the way, when we melted everything down together, that was over medium heat. Okay, thank you. That's plenty. And what we're going to do is stir this up, see what the consistency is, because I had doubled the recipe there of the cheese sauce. Because you can use it on a lot of other things. You can use it on broccoli, you can use it on mixed vegetables. Um, this family likes cheese on just about everything. So <laughs> We will eat it on anything and everything. The super cool thing about this sauce, I don't know if you could tell or not, but the consistency of this is so beautiful and so creamy, and there is absolutely no flour in this sauce whatsoever. So it's low carb, and it's just absolutely fabulous. Okay, why don't you spray that pan, and I'll see if I can show them the, the it's not going to do it, but it, it's very silky. Very silky. Here we go. It's very silky. <laughs> it's very silky. <laughs> okay, now right, we're going to... Got that prepared? Here, I'll hand this to you. All righty, and I'll hand that to you. I'm going to put this in a baking dish. Mmm, that looks good. And Yum. spread it out a little bit. Because I want it all to get, I want the edges to get crusty. Oh, yeah. I love that nice, crispy, crusty edge. And here again, we sprinkle on some cheese. Cheese of your choice. Cheese, and sometimes cheese, cheese. I use a mixture of cheeses. Whatever I have, I, I keep, um, when I go to the cheese store, or the part of the store that has cheese, I get weird cheeses. And I bring home a... Uh, things from the, um, that are imported. Mm -hmm. And I've used Irish cheese and English cheese and everything just because I want to try different tastes. If I'm going to eat something, I want it to be good. That's right. So try something so, different. Would you like to add the rest of these on top of that? Oh, uh, you can. That's fine. We have them. Why not? Have them. Use them. They're yummy. And uh, we'll put this in the oven at 350 with the collie taters. Let it get crispy around the top. Welcome back to Seven Bites. Uh, we're going to show you what the collie taters and the collie mac look like once they they're are finished. done. And oh my gosh, all the warm, yummy goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my look goodness. At that. Look at that cheesy, nummy goodness. Oh, holy cow, that is amazing. Here we go. Here's a... It's all bubbly and... You played up mine and I'll played up yours. That works for me. All right. So, look at all this. Look at how creamy and decadent that is. Look at this. It's you just... would never guess that this was not a traditional cheese sauce. 
And look at those potatoes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Really, really hot. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And that right there. The perfect so tiny little bites. And you know what? I can't wait to try it, actually. There is. So I'm going to. You're going to want to let it sit for a minute before you taste it, but you, I can't wait. You better. I'm just going to dig right in. It's going to be hot. And you'll probably see me cry on camera because it's so hot. I'm going to wait till she cries because I can laugh. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm. 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 You get that tiny little kick from the cayenne. I mean, it's just like in the back of your throat. It's awesome. It's so good. And you don't even miss the pasta. So whether you're eating for weight loss surgery or whether you're eating low carb, she's really getting into it apparently. She really likes it. <laughs> Either way, whatever, it's a great low carb side dish. So. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'll probably save some. Hide it. <laughs> Keep it. It's good. It's really good. All right. Thanks for joining us, and um, we'll have some more good recipes for you on our next uh, broadcast, and we hope you leave your comments. That's right. And don't forget to like our channel, and you want to see more of us, you got to click that little subscribe button, because otherwise you might miss out, and what's the fun in that? So like and subscribe so you can see all the fun that we're having right here on 7 Bites. Bye for now. Bye.